Hey everyone, so as prom season is upon us, I decided I would show you guys how to get this really nice classic Hollywood style red carpet hair. So to create this look, I'm going to be using the new Bombay Gold Collection hair straightener and this one is 100% pure titanium. This is the lovely box it comes in and this is how it's packaged. As soon as I opened it I got really excited because the plates are gold and they're beautiful. So as soon as you plug it in, it starts to flash with off, so you know it's switched off. There's three main buttons on the inside. You hold the top one down and this will turn the straightener on. Once it's on, you'll see numbers appear on the digital screen. To adjust the temperature, you use the buttons underneath which have got a plus and minus on and you just adjust these accordingly. Once it reaches the desired temperature, it will flash green like so. It ranges from 120 degrees to 230 degrees Celsius. And then to turn the straightener off, you just hold down the first button again until the display says off and it flashes blue again. Now Bombay Hair are also known for their beautiful clipping hair extensions. As I naturally have a lot of hair, I don't ever wear them, but I thought I'd get some to show you guys and show you how easy they are to apply. So the hair extensions come with a test strip. This is really ideal so you can test the colour against your hair and also the length and texture. If you don't remove the gold toggle, then Bombay will happily exchange or refund you because they've not been used. The extensions also come with a hair hanger and basically it has a clasp on it that opens the hanger and it's got a nice kind of velvety strip across it which helps the extension stay in place but prevents any tangling and it also prevents them from getting an indentation and this is the best way to store your freshly brushed hair extensions. Once you've placed them all inside just pull the top of the hanger, the clasp will shut and that will hold them in place. So the extensions I've got are ash brown and these are 22 inch because they're the same length as my natural hair. With each set you order, you get 10 pieces. So you get two of these size wefts, which have got four clips on. You also get two of these ones, which have got three clips on. Also two with two clips on. And then you also get four individual ones with one clip on. I'm only going to be using three of these as I've already got very thick hair. So I've parted my hair from ear to ear. And I'm going to pick up a small sliver of hair going around the circumference of my head and I'm going to use a comb to back comb the root and the reason that I do this is so that the clip on the weft of hair has something to grip onto so it's not going to slide out the hair this is particularly important if you've got very fine or very naturally straight hair so I'm taking one of the widest wefts and I'm going to unclip each of the clips I like to start with the two middle clips and I apply that directly in the middle of my head at the back and then at the sides I lift the hair that I've back combed up and then I slip the clip on top of where I've applied that back comb and then that way I know the grip is on top of the back comb so it can't slide out. About an inch above those extensions I'm taking down another sliver of hair, again all the way around the head. Using the same process as before I'm taking a small thin piece of hair and back combing it at the root and this time I'm taking the smaller weft with the two clips in and applying one of these on either side of my head. Make sure you leave about an inch from the front of your hairline so that it doesn't show through. If you want to apply more of the extensions, you can certainly apply them a little bit lower than I started and you can strategically place them throughout your head. As you can see, the hair extensions match in with my hair length perfectly. Parting my hair ear to ear again, we're going to start with a one inch section of hair. I'm going to clamp the straightener, rolling it away from my face. We want to be rotating the straightener as we pull it down the length of the hair. And I'm going to wrap the tail of my hair over the straightener as we roll just so we keep some control of where the hair is going and we're going to pull the hair straightener down the length of the hair while rotating the straightener itself. We're going to do this all the way to the end and by rotating it as we pull it down the hair we're going to create a nice curl. While the curl's still hot we're going to wrap it around our fingers and roll it up. Be sure the hair stays nice and flat while you wrap it. We're then going to use some curling clips to pin the hair in place. You can get these from any Sally's. Then you just want to repeat the process all the way around the head. Once you've done that first layer, we're going to take another layer of hair down, comb it through and then take another one inch section. We always want to roll the straightener away from our face. This will ensure that all the curls are rolled downwards and they're all going to be facing the same way. If you're working from the back of your head, just pull your hair around so you can see it and work from the front. Don't worry too much about heating the root because once you roll the curl up, the residual heat will warm through the root, which will enable a little bit more lift. You may find sometimes while you're wrapping your hair around and rotating the straightener, the hair can hold it too tight so you might find the straightener doesn't glide as easily. A little tip would be if you dip your straightener at the front or dip the handle a little bit, sometimes shifting it left or right can help the hair to loosen around the straightener so it will just glide down. 
What I love about these titanium plates is it really gives a nice beautiful shine to your hair so you'll find it glides through really easily and when you take your pin curls out you'll see that you've got a really nice sheen to your hair. At the top of the crown we are going to do that section backwards so we're going to rotate the straightener away from our head and as I've got long hair I just rotate my hair to the front slightly so I can pull the straightener through. For this look you'll want to wear your hair on a side parting so although we've got a nice central middle section that we've got left to curl yet we are going to curl it to one side. I've curled my parting in two sections the back section I've curled to the right down and away from my face as I've done with the hair that's below it. For the front section because I've got a fringe I'm curling it forward still away from my face but curling it forward then I'm rolling it up and I'm going to push it backwards slightly because we want some nice lift at the root of our fringe. If you want this look to last all night I would suggest using a setting spray before you start all your curling. Once you've left it a good 10-15 minutes to completely cool we're going to remove all of our curling clips. Rather than just letting your curls drop you want to rotate them with your finger to make sure they fall the way that they've been curled. Notice how we don't have any flyaways on our hair because the titanium plates on the straightener really give us that silky smooth finish. Now I'm going to take a soft bristle brush and spray a tiny bit of hairspray onto it and I'm going to brush the curls out. Now remember we don't want ringlets, we want a really beautiful soft wave to our hair. So don't be afraid to really brush the curls out. The idea of using the straightener to curl all of our sections the same way is that we get that beautiful wave in our hair and each strand tends to follow the same direction. When you move on to a new section, spray a little bit more hairspray onto your brush and then again brush from the root right to the very ends. And you can just use your fingers to manipulate your hair into place. If you want a little bit more lift at your root, you can add a little bit of backcombing in. I always like to add a little bit to my fringe and then just spray it into place. You have to excuse the awkward pose, it's hard trying to fit the entire length of my hair in the shot. So this is the ideal hair for prom, if you're a wedding guest, even the bride or a red carpet event. And then without any effort, if you just throw your head upside down and really shake out that sleek look, your curls will just bounce back up and you'll get this really big, voluminous, beachy wave. So guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing two completely different looks using the hair straighteners and the setting technique. You can go for something big and wild like this, which you can even shake out more and have it really wild and voluminous and just spray some hairspray into it. Or like I did with the first look, you can brush the curls out and create something really, really smooth and you can even set the S shape into your hair for that really nice Hollywood glam. You just want to put a little bit of serum on your hands and work that through just to smooth out any flyaways because I was going to shake my hair up. I wasn't going to put no serum on it because I didn't want it to go all slick. I wanted it to be more wild because that's how I like my hair. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a play, let me know your thoughts. If you're on Instagram, tag me in any of your pictures. I'd be interested to see what you create in a straightener. So as usual, I will put a link in the description bar to the Bombay hair straightener. Be sure to use the discount code SFLAT for 30% off the flat iron at the checkout. Don't forget, I've also done a tutorial with the Bombay hair curling ones and I'll put a link to that in the description bar as well so you can go and see me using the 5-in-1 wand. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Click on the subscribe button now. And if you've missed my previous tutorials, you can click on these now as well. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you can see what I get up to in my daily life and my job as a makeup artist. 